Google is the tool that I was most familiar with before starting the class. However, as the class progressed, I knew, learned new and exciting ways to use it. Google Documents is a new tool for me. It allowed me to create documents as well as access them anywhere I wanted to. My favorite thing about Google Docs, though, is that I can share it with anybody that I need to. Flickr! What a new and exciting tool! I'd heard of Flickr before I started the class. However, I had never tried to use it. It's so much more exciting than trying to insert clip art into my projects, and I will be using it beyond this class. Oh, Twitter, one of the most addicting tools in the class. Twitter is useful as it allows you to connect with other individuals in the world and to learn what they're thinking on different thoughts and subjects. When you first sign up for Twitter, your default picture is an egg, which is suitable as you haven't really hatched until you start tweeting. Once I was interested in Twitter, I was able to set up a small profile to explain who I was and what I was interested in. Then I began to tweet. This class was full of many firsts for me. This is my first tweet ever. The tweet is about a news clip that my brother was in. Global Regina had gotten a lot of the information that they had posted wrong. This made me think about how we need to be critical of all information we receive, either online, or from the TV, or anywhere else. However, my favorite use of Twitter is following various news channels from Regina. This allows me to stay updated on what's going on around the world without having to sit down and watch the TV at a designated time. I like this because I'm a busy person and I want to have access to the news at any time, anywhere. A downside to following multiple news channels is I often get the same information multiple times in a day. Twitter allows me to stay updated in the class by following my prof and following the hashtags. WordPress is a very interesting tool that we've used during the class. I like it because it's straightforward, simple, and easy to use. However, I find it difficult and uncomfortable to share my writing with the world. Yet this course has pushed me to change and adapt my thinking. This is my first blog. It's about me. It is posted on my blog folio for the class. My blog folio is not the only blog I have created for this class. I have created a second blog in order to post my learning for my major project. Here I provide links to where I've learned something as well as what I've learned on YouTube. YouTube managed to push me to a whole new level of feeling awkward and uncomfortable. I created a channel which is dedicated to what I am learning. For my project, I wanted to learn how to decorate cakes, hence the name. I was able to upload different videos of me learning and trying out different things. This was really awkward for me as I do not like talking about myself or in front of people and YouTube seemed to be making me do both. I think being pushed outside my comfort zone with both YouTube and WordPress was really good for me. I was able to learn new things and in new ways. Plus, it turned out to be really fun once I got used to it. Here is yet another first for me. My first vlog. I used up over half of my memory card giggling before I actually got something that was useful. In order to make my YouTube videos, I had to learn how to use Windows Movie Maker. This was also a brand new experience for me. Overall, this course made me feel awkward and uncomfortable, which made me learn in new and exciting ways. Many of the tools I found strange at the beginning of the course ended up being my favorites. I ended up enjoying WordPress and YouTube so much that I think I will end up using them once the course is finished. Plus, I got to make and eat cakes and call it homework. Thank you for watching!